Hi Scorpio, I'm Brenda and I'm here again today to bring you your weekly angel tarot card reading for the week of December the 21st to December the 28th. I want to thank you again for watching my channel, for all the subscribers coming in, leaving me beautiful comments behind, and for sharing my videos with their friends and family members. I am truly blessed for the people requesting private readings I am very grateful to you. I wish you, I can't believe Christmas is coming so quickly, and I wish you a great happy holidays and a wonderful celebration season to come. We start our week, Scorpio, on Monday with an air card. And this is the Ace of Air, and uh, you have two in this reading. And air cards have to do with the justice and the injustice in our lives. And often they have to do with legal issues and those types of communicating uh, issues that often aren't our favorite things to deal with. This is telling me, though, that there's some new ideas coming into you right now, brilliant new ideas, and that you have had the time now, uh, and you have the time now, and you're going to be able to um, develop these. And you're going to be able to see a truth in a situation that's been around you for quite some time but it will be a bit of a challenging uh, beginning for you uh, dealing with this truthfulness uh, being able to accept it uh, completely now and uh, and understand it a bit more on Tuesday you've been given a great card you have been given the wheel my friend and this is all about a time of positive change right now it's happening around you <coughs> excuse me and um, the situation suddenly now is going to move forward. You've been dealing with a situation now for a while. Excuse me. But know that this situation is, excuse me, is going to be moving forward. And um, whether uh, there's any changes in your life occurring right now, big or small, know that they're going to work out better. They're going to work out well for you. Um, because it's like you've been in a situation and now the blocks are being lifted. One little block at a time. However, they are being lifted. And um, there's going to be some moving forward on the path for you, some rapid advancement for you. Um, it's a card of great karma. It's a card of good luck. It's a card of destiny. It's a card of miracles and balance and a twist of fate. So this was a very good card for you. Uh, know that change is coming and it's positive change and things are going to work out better. Now, crowning your week on Wednesday, again, another major card. And this one is the strength card. Now, this is all about dealing with issues and situations in, in your life right now. Scorpio and that you're going to have to dig deep and be strong but they're wanting you not not we're talking about emotional strength we're talking about the inner strength within your own soul within your own spirit within your own self digging deep for that strength and being gentle and compassionate and understanding about it when you are strong you have to be strong you have to stand up for your convictions and your rights and be determined about that have confidence to say your peace by being strong and letting whoever it is you need to be strong for and about that you this is where they stand in your life and that you're going to be strong but you're going to be gentle compassionate forgiving and understanding while you're doing it on Thursday you've been given a fire card now fire cards have to do with setting our dreams and motions about our ideas they represent uh, they have to do with risk taking sometimes and about self development. This is telling me that on Thursday near the end of the week you're going to receive abundance. Now know that abundance can come in in the form of time, effort or currency or money and they're telling me that things are looking very good right now as this abundance is starting to come into you and that uh, you need to be patient at this time. Uh, it's coming okay it's coming and when it does come you're going to be able to make long-term plans because of it on Friday you have been given an earth card and you've been given the night of earth um, it's time to get things done they're telling me that you need to step up to the plate stop procrastinating and get things done right now honor your commitments that you've made to others and to yourself especially and uh, but you'll be able to get these things done even though it's a very very busy time of the year and we're running in different directions and we're multitasking like mad know that they show me your guardian angel with their hand on your shoulder saying hey I've got things covered. I'm going to help you do this and get it done.
On Saturday, you've been given an air card again. You had one at the beginning of the week. And uh, this particular air card is telling me that, yes, some of you have been dealing with a challenging situation it, that has to do with justice or injustice. You've been communicating with someone or other people over issues like this. And perhaps some of you have had to actually deal with legal issues. Right now, it is challenging information that's coming into you. And there may be a pause or delays to some of your plans right now. So just know that you're going to hear about some information that's going to bring in some truth to you, so, uh, uh, an issue about truth. But the like this page who's not quite an adult and hasn't learned the finesse and the wisdom of being uh, a mature adult, this information is going to come in and be delivered in a really weird, tactless way. So don't attack the messenger. Just receive the message, my friend, about this truthfulness coming into you. Now, on Sunday, you've been given a, another fire card, and you've had two in this reading. And uh, this one is telling me that there's some news coming into you. And they refer to this news, actually, as exciting news about an endeavor. Um, and when this comes in, you're going to be able to use your own ingenuity and your own integrity uh, and originality with this endeavor coming in, with this event that's coming in. Excuse me. Now... At the end of the week, I did incorporate that one oracle card, and again, I was led to use the Ascended Master's deck. And the message that they gave me today, my friend, is pretty profound. You can do it. So, you're dealing with issues. Some of you legal, uh, some uh, that, you know, are challenging. And uh, it's a busy time to have to deal with these situations. But anyway, they're telling me that you can do it. And that's what this card signifies. Step up to the plate, one little step at a, a, step at a time, and know that you do have the strength to do what you want. Uh, you know, have confidence in yourself. I, you, you can do anything you want. That card signifies strength. That's what it's all about, my friend. Have the courage. Have the convictions. Ha, um, have, have the integrity to step forward and the confidence to know that you can do it. You can handle it. So whatever you're dealing with this week, tell yourself in your mind, I'm going to get it done and I can do it. I wish you a great remainder to today and a wonderful, optimistic week to look forward to, Scorpio. And I leave you again with another quote. And the quote that I chose today has to do with this week, of course, this celebration season. And I chose this one. It is not what is under the Christmas tree. It is who is around it that counts, my friend. See you again next week. And know that I continue to stand in the circle of light for you, my friend.